Welcome engineers. Raft foundation and mat foundation are both types of shallow foundations used in construction to distribute the weight of a building or structure evenly to the soil below. However, they have distinct differences in terms of design, application, and load-bearing characteristics. 1. Raft foundation. A raft foundation, also known as a mat foundation, is a type of large, flat structural slab that covers the entire footprint of a building. 1. It extends under all the load-bearing walls and columns of the structure. 1. The primary purpose of a raft foundation is to distribute the loads from the building over a wide area of soil. 1. Raft foundations are commonly used when the soil's bearing capacity is relatively low or inconsistent, or when there's a need to minimize differential settlement. Key Characteristics of a Raft Foundation 1. Coverage It covers the entire building's footprint, providing a continuous load distribution. 2. Thickness the thickness of a raft foundation is relatively uniform and is generally thicker at the center and tapers towards the edges. 3. Load distribution. It redistributes loads from the building onto a larger soil area, reducing the pressure on the soil. 4. Differential settlement. Raft foundations help minimize differential settlement by providing a uniform support to the structure. 5. Construction. Raft foundations can be reinforced with steel bars for added strength. 1. Mat foundation. A mat foundation is another term often used interchangeably with a raft foundation, though there can be slight variations in their design. 1. In some contexts, a mat foundation refers to a heavily reinforced slab that's used to support a single column or a few closely spaced columns. 1. It's particularly useful when there's a significant variation in the soil's bearing capacity across the building's footprint. Key characteristics of a mat foundation. 1. Column support. Mat foundations are used to support individual columns or a small group of closely spaced columns. 2. Reinforcement. Mat foundations are typically reinforced with a high amount of steel due to the concentrated loads they need to bear. 3. Load concentration. The loads from columns are distributed to a larger area of soil than isolated footings, but not as widely as with a typical raft foundation. 4. Application. Mat foundations are often used in situations where isolated footings are impractical due to the high loads or soil conditions. In summary, the main difference between a raft foundation and a mat foundation lies in their coverage and load distribution. A raft foundation covers the entire building footprint and is designed to distribute loads widely to reduce soil pressure and differential settlement. A mat foundation, on the other hand, often refers to a reinforced slab that supports individual columns or closely spaced columns, distributing loads more broadly than isolated footings but not as widely as a full raft foundation. The terminology can sometimes vary depending on regional practices and specific engineering contexts. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.